This is the sync up. Welcome to the setup tour. <laughs> you want to tell them what we're doing today? We are. Why are you shaking? I've been here for about two months, but I'm yet to record this because I have no good reason. I'm just really late. So there's a lot to look at, obviously. I've been putting the room together for a while, but I think I got most of everything together now. So yeah, let's go through it one by one. I'm gonna show you guys what I got in my current office setup. This way to start. I don't know where to start, actually. The first real area to show you guys is the side corner, which is like my little entertainment area. We have the duck shaker corner. Crown of all of my achievements right here. They're more or less just for like collector's item's sake, but I could give away a lot of these over my Twitch stream. And we're gonna start it out really exciting and just show you what's in the drawers. Let's have a bunch of games in the top one. Lots of different things for me to choose from because what I'm going to show you first over here is like a retro gaming center. In this one, we got a whole bunch of controllers and tape and other miscellaneous things that I probably never use. Third one is probably just random XLR cables. Finally, we have my VR headset, which is something I'm yet to use on stream. I want to get around to doing that pretty soon, but I haven't. Because I wanted to go for like a gaming corner or a media center of some sort with like my PlayStation 2. I have a Switch over there. I'm going to be getting like an Xbox. I want to get an N64, GameCube, things like that. And we wanted to hang this on the wall originally, as you can probably see up here. These have metal studs, and I couldn't drill it into there for inexperienced reasons. I managed to just keep this right above the piano with a stand that I bought on Amazon. I'll have the link in the description down below. I kind of like it being this low though because that means I can play piano sheet music right here at the same time that I'm also watching something. And it's a nice aesthetic at night. So let's do a quick pan frame to nighttime. Boom! Check it out, nighttime lights. This is a vibe. I really like how my office looks at nighttime now. Let me know if you guys like this setup over here, how low I had the TV, how I have the lights. I wanna add some more stuff to the wall for more light or decoration. My chill level has increased by 10 times. It's like my own little corner to detox from work, I guess. This is really nice to have. I enjoy music, I enjoy gaming. It's all really fun to have. Over here is what a lot of you guys are probably most excited to see out of all the stuff, ironically. It's all the G Fuel that I have. So I think there's about 60-ish plus tubs here. A lot of different shakers and things that I've collected over time. I try to organize it from some of my least favorite to favorite. It's kind of insane how much you feel I've collected over these last three years. So much so that it has its own corner. There's an empty space on the wall right here where I would be putting a G Fuel LED sign that they sent to me in my old apartment. Some artwork that one of my mods, Place Fantasy, sent to me. I try to keep some artwork you guys send in the PO box like around the room. Just kind of remind me of like the cool stuff the community's done. And behind it, I just have a trumpet on the floor. As you know, I'd be Trumpeton. Beside all of that, we have basically a big music corner set up. We have everything from a violin to ukulele, bass, three guitars, all on their own stands. I put all of these together for the video as well. Bought them so everything looks really nice. I think I really enjoy it. It keeps things a bit more organized. They're not laying around the room. They're not against the walls. I have a chronic addiction to collecting instruments. Continue to support that by subscribing. Now, this is where I spend the majority of every single day. I probably am here for like, I don't know, 12, 13 hours in a day. I've upgraded things a lot over time. It's crazy to look at this because when I started creating content, I was editing and creating videos and streaming on top of a door. I took off the hinges and on a piano stand. So to have a standing desk along with the side desk and all this stuff here is incredible. I'll show you guys everything I got here. So number one, we got my Respawn chair that Respawn has sent out to me. You guys know I'm partnered with them. Use code DUCK for all of your chair or desk purchases. They also have monitor mounts now that we're going to talk about in this video as well. Being someone who has scoliosis, my back be like this. I need something to support my back a lot and obviously this this helps a ton. The desk that I have is not actually from Respawn, but instead from FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot sent me out this desk when I moved into my last place with Val Val. And it's also because it moves. So if I want to stand or sit, I can do that for my stream without having any issues. Two 24 inch, 144 hertz monitors. Both of these are fantastic for both streaming, editing, gaming, all that I do over here. I wanted to have them separated from one another because when I film or stream, I like to have the camera right in the middle. Funny enough, one of my favorite things about this setup is actually the respawn monitor arm stand that I have. This thing is so versatile and it looks really cool too. You guys can see how I put everything together. It was super simple to do. It's got a nice sleek design to it. Lots of range of motion, which is what we're after as well. I use the Seal Series Arctic headphones. I think these are Arctic 3s. They're wireless and they're fantastic for everything that I do. I have an elongated mouse pad inspired by Giyu from Demon Slayer. The Logitech G Pro X wireless keyboard, as well as the Logitech G305 mouse. I like the color scheme, like the blue. You can see I have my XLR mic with the blue cable as well. We have an Elgato Stream Deck in the back. You guys know I use that for my lights and changing the scenes. To add on to that, we have the two lights the Stream Deck can actually 
activate and change. Key lights are fantastic for perfect lighting. This is a new upgrade, one that I recently had. A lot of you guys know that I wanted to have a Go XLR plus a Sherepson 7B for the longest time. Finally got one because Coco had one and she was, it was like in your coat rack, wasn't it? It was just I wanted to have a podcast one day. Plus my PC over here. It's probably the most expensive thing that I own to in this room, most likely. All the specs will go on the screen now. While you guys geek out about all my specs on the screen here, there's something special in this PC that I got recently that I really want to mention. My friends over at Elgato sent me the brand new Cam Elite Pro and I'm loving it inside of my PC. I was supposed to talk about this a couple <laughs> months ago when it actually released, but if you didn't know, I've been in the process of moving from Los Angeles to the East Coast. So I actually didn't even get this package until a couple of weeks ago. And I'll tell you what, I don't know how I got by before without this thing. It's a card that plugs directly into a PCIe slot of your motherboard. It functions just like a normal cam leak, except there's four inputs. <laughs> so I can have four inputs at 1080p 60 or 4K 30 all in one card. It was super easy to install. You just plug it right into your PCIe slot and you use it. That's pretty much all there was to it. I love having this one card for multiple cameras within my streams and my videos. I don't have to have three or four different USB sticks sticking out of my PC, but instead I have one card where everything plugs into. They make the navigation with an OBS super easy as well. You can choose between your four different inputs or you can even do a multi-view, which is really cool for all of your cameras at one time. It's a fantastic product. I wanted to stop for a second and just shout out to my guys at Red Elgato for sending this to me. It's something I strongly recommend if you have multiple DSLRs for your streams or your videos. And not even just that, this completely eliminates the need for an HD60S or other types of capture card as you could just plug your Switch into it as well, your Xbox or PS4, whatever you game from, while also having your DSLR camera plugged into it. If you guys want to pick up a Camlink Pro for yourself, I'll link it in the description down below. Could not recommend it more. And let's continue on with the room tour. To add on to that, we have our G Fuel fridge. Tons of different cans in it. On top of it, I have my PS4 Slim. Can't forget, Elgato just sent me the Wave panels as well. These things are the easiest things to set up in the world. I put them together piece by piece, and you attach each of the panels together. Then you stick on the wall. So shout out to Elgato for sending these out for the video. Now that we got a look at the G Fuel fridge, let's turn around to see our fishies. These are my only friends that I have. I'm alone. One's name is Reggie, one's name is Wasabi, and the other one's name, I think uh, my viewers decided with Liss. They came with my son we're living in, so I take care of them as my own now. Beside that, we got a Naruto manga box set. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for this room. I was pretty proud of the cable management that I did. Down below, I spent a lot of time getting everything put into like a compartmentalized box with the cable sleeves so it has a nice flush look. Other than that, I added some LED lights and LED light strips so it looks really cool at nighttime. I'll put on screen some differences between daytime and nighttime, and it's fantastic. And one more thing to mention is the sunset that we get in this room. It's fantastic right now. See the sun's going down. It's so beautiful outside. It's so nice to look at from your office after a long day. And the cherry on top is this side room right beside my office on the second floor. Where I can come to de-stress at the end of oh, sit on the couch, enjoy a nice G Fuel that I'll catch on first try. Hold the one. Ah, there we go. And other than that, we have this bed. <laughs> we had an extra mattress we didn't know what to do with, so we put it in this, uh, this sunroom. And it's really nice in between like edits and streams. I can come out here and take a nap. I want some. You want some? Yeah, say please. Please. There you go. That's basically everything for my room tour. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, like, comment, sub, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Do you think they subscribed? Yeah. You think they did? Yeah. How many? Thousands. Thousands? Thousands. Hundred thousand? Hundred thousand. I'm famous, mom.